Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the ASUS Z87 Sabertooth motherboard for the new Intel Haswell processor, Socket 1150. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So let's take a look at the ASUS Z87 Sabertooth motherboard. Of course, this is their tough line. You get a five-year warranty with this board. It is the ultimate force, as they say. This is one of the best protected motherboards on the market. It's one of the best made motherboards on the market. It is built for reliability. So as you can see, the box is black. They have gold up here even though who those of you who know the uh, Z87 you're used to the the brown and the tan but actually ASUS has kind of changed their colors and they went kind of gold but this board luckily is still brown and tan five-year warranty SLI and Crossfire capable of course it does have HDMI on it it's Windows 8 ready we'll go ahead and turn around to the back of the box and of course if we're looking at the back of the box you can see it a full picture of the motherboard itself with the thermal armor on top of it. You see your your I.O. ports here and of course it talks about thermal armor, the tough fortifier which is on the back plate, you have thermal radar 2 which is a software package for this and of course dust defender. Dust defender is I'll show you that in a minute and but it's basically it keeps the dust off of your open ports. So I'll put the box down, we'll take a look at the accessories first, and then we'll go and look at the board. You're going to get four SATA cables. You're going to get a SLI bridge. Of course, your I.O. port. Or panel. And my favorite, the, the case dongles... Uh, Plugging a bobber thing, I, well, that's what I call it. But in any case, basically, you plug your you pull your case headers into here, and then you plug it into your your power controls on the motherboard. Then we have our user's guide for the motherboard, accessory installation guide, of course your sticker for your case that says tough inside on it might make a good tattoo your driver disc and your goodies package what are the goodies these are the goodies that make up the thermal armor that complete the thermal armor of course you're going to get your two fans you could put a fan here you could also put a fan where the IO port is getting two fans. Then you're going to get probes. Next we have, which is part of our thermal armor, these are all the covers, so whatever you don't have covered, you go ahead into this bag of goodies, take it, cover them so you don't get dust in it. Here are more covers. These are basically to cover SATA ports or USB ports, HDMI ports, etc. So everything's covered so you can defend this board from dust. And last but not least, of course, there's the, the fan block over here. And all of the Sabertooth boards come with a certificate of reliability. That states that the capacitors, the chokes, the MOSFETs have all been tested and have passed it. Have the, passed it? That's not, that's, I guess you could use that word, but have passed the rigorous testing to make sure that this board is reliable. All right, let's take a look at the board. Of course, we have our thermal armor. You can see the thermal armor, it's right on top here. This is a fan. Of course, I have the screws in, but if you pull that off, you can put your fan in there. This comes off to put your other fan in the side. All your heat sinks are covered with the thermal armor. Your openings are for your slots. That is it. 
So you're going to get very good thermals on this. Now, I normally don't do this first, but let's go ahead and do it on the back. Here's your back bracket. This is, this is perfect for thermals. It allows air to get between, between the motherboard and, and the plate of the case. It also has therm, uh, it also has the sensors through it. So let's go ahead and look at the board again through the front and we'll start from the top. Up on the top we have our 8-pin power connector. We have a fan header here. We also have another fan header and two more. Our socket is 1150. This is a Haswell processor in it. See the capacitors here. Going over we have our four DIMM slots, DDR3 memory. Let's turn the board to the side so we can get a better look. Right here is our Memo K button. So if you have a problem with your memory, hit that, it'll go back into the BIOS, reset your memory for you. Your 24 pin power connector. This is for USB 3. You also have two, four, six native SATA 6G ports and two as media SATA 6G ports. Of course, this is for your, your panel on your, on your case back to BIOS. So you can go back to your BIOS if you get a bad overclock. You have your two USB, USB hubs for your, your, uh, your front panel on your case, serial connectors, audio, Another fan header. And if we look at the I.O., here's for your sound. Intel LAN. One, two, three, four USB 2s. HDMI, display port. I mean, these are USB 3, I'm sorry, they're blue. Red, of course, that's external SATA, eSATA. We have one, two, three USB 2.0 ports, and this is our for our back to bio, our BIOS flashback, where technically you don't even need to have a processor on here to go ahead and flash your BIOS. This is your BIOS button, your BIOS re reset button, and of course you have an optical out. Now underneath this board and on this board are many thermal sensors. This has a lot of fan connectors. I mean, I didn't go through them all, but you have a fan connector here. Of course, you saw the fan connectors up on the top. You have some on the bottom. This has a lot of thermal probes on it underneath the armor. You're going to be able to monitor your PCIe slots. You're going to be able to monitor your CPU, of course, your PCH, your SATA slots, the whole nine yards. This board is built for reliability. It is built to take a beating, as in wear, not as in throwing it on the floor. It is probably one of the most secure boards I have ever tested, and with all the thermal armor, you don't have to worry about any of the uh, normal stuff like dust getting into it. All right, so we're done with this part. I'm going to go back to the workbench. We'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, everyone. See you. Now that we've actually seen the Sabertooth by ASUS, the Z87 Sabertooth, let's talk about it a little bit. This is probably the most reliable board on the market today for durability. You have thermal armor. You have the back plate. You have all the sensors that you need to monitor your thermals with this board. You also have the dust covers. You have everything you need to protect this board, including fans and a whole bunch of other options that I showed you. It's got an Intel LAN on it. Now, of course, it's a segment board. So some of you might not be interested in a segment board because this is, you know, targeting a specific person. But in any case, you might want to try it. This has a retail price of $259. We're going to go ahead and give it a gold award. You can read the review at hightechlegion.com and see why. We talked about everything that we went over. You can also see how the board tested, meaning that
that we tested this board, we tested the USB, we tested SATA, we tested everything, and of course we overclocked it. You can overclock this board. That's another good thing about it. So in any case, you got thermal armor. It's tough fortified. Of course you have tech, tech radar on it, I mean thermal radar too, I'm sorry not tech radar, but, and the dust defender. The Z87 Sabertooth Motherboard by ASUS. Gold Award, $259. Thank you everybody, thank you for watching. And remember, if you didn't see it at High Tech Legion, you might not have seen it at all, we have over a thousand videos uploaded. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel right now. Stay thirsty my friends,